To be fair, that really was terrifying. A good travel itinerary to the Philippines should include Cebu, as it is filled with adventure, beautiful beaches, and friendly locals. Being a hugely popular tourist destination, it can be overwhelming to choose the places and activities to do, especially on your first visit. So in this video, we'll show you how we made the most out of our trip to Cebu, Philippines. Cebu is situated in the heart of Visayas, and a good place to start our journey is in Cebu City. I'd highly suggest staying near the business district near Ayala Center or IT Park for easy access to commute, food, and malls. Food in Cebu is a whole experience in itself. Another must-try is lechon. It's a roasted suckling pig and is the most popular dish in the province. We tried ours in a place called House of Lechon where they serve karkar lechon. And Karkar is another city in Cebu that is said to have one of the tastiest lechon. We also got to try a Cebuano version of pochero here in Marjos Pochero with their meaty and tender beef cooked to perfection. If you're feeling a little adventurous with the food, you can go over to Barangay Pasil for Tuslobua where you dip the puso or hanging rice into a bubbling sauce made out of pork liver and brains. You can also try linarang or nilarang, it's a Filipino fish stew that has a spicy and sour taste with coconut milk and other aromatics. Probably best to go here with a local because people here are not as accommodating, especially if you look like this. Let's talk more food later, let's begin our adventure. So two of the most famous temples nearby the city are the Taoist Temple and the Temple of Leia. If I would choose only one, which one would it be? This temple was built in 1972 as a place of worship for the ancient Chinese philosophy and religion of Taoism. If you want to participate in the rituals, make sure to ask the ministers and always be respectful and mindful throughout the process. Now, the Temple of Leia is dedicated to a different kind of god women. This is because the temple was built by the husband of Leia Adarna as a testament of his undying love for his wife. It's a Roman-inspired structure that showcases collectibles, its beautiful architecture, and a stunning view of the city. If I had to choose one, I'd stick to the Taoist temple as I'm more of a spiritual and meditative type of person. Now, if you could only do one thing in Cebu, this next adventure should make your trip worth the visit. We contacted MAG Canyoneering to arrange a one-day tour to explore the southern part of Cebu, and here's how it went. They picked us up at 3 a.m. as it takes roughly 3 to 4 hours from Cebu City to Oslob, starting off with a quick stop at the Oslob Quartel ruins that used to be a Spanish army barracks from the 1800s. And beside it is one of the oldest churches in Cebu, the Nuestra Señora de la Immaculada Concepcion. And the most popular tourist attraction here is none other than the whale shark watching. Now, this one is a bit controversial because despite it being a huge source of income for the fishermen, villagers, and local government, this tourist activity has a negative impact on the whale shark's nutrition, behavior, and even the coral reef. But I'm a bit of a hypocrite to say this, as you can see me enjoying the sight of these beautiful creatures. Just make sure to educate yourself first by reading the article in the description box. We also went to this part of Sumilon Island, but we didn't get to explore it that much as it costs a lot to access the main resort. 
on the flip side, our friend got to meet other tourists here so that he can share Filipino hospitality with our fellow Asians. <laughs> Finally, it's time for an activity that will challenge you physically and mentally. So you have the option to walk all the way to the river or you can cut a big chunk of that trek by doing this instead. As you begin your journey towards Kawasan Falls, you will be faced with a lot of obstacles. And nerve-wracking cliffs that will reveal what kind of person you are when it comes to taking risks. Especially if you're afraid of heights. As you continue jumping off cliffs, you'd think that it gets easy, but no. The cliffs become more terrifying. As you look at the bottom, you start thinking of all the ways it can go wrong. So the fear intensifies as you keep watching the water, imagining the worst possible outcome. So on the highest cliff, we all decided to just jump. Stop thinking, jump. Aside from all the cliffs and mental challenges, you'll also get to enjoy the beauty of nature, the bright turquoise water, the tight canyons that form this majestic river, and of course the prize at the end of it all, the raging Kawasan Falls. And that's how our one day adventure went make sure to contact MAG Canyoneering because they are super great hosts. They even fed us a lot of food before and after our trip. So here are more food recommendations before we move on to the next adventure. Polita is a new restaurant in Cebu City that is gaining a lot of traction for their beautiful dishes, delicious reinvented Filipino and comfort food, along with colorful drinks to spice up your night. We got lucky seeing this pop-up burger joint called One Bite Kids. Really classic tasting burgers, very simple ingredients but high quality taste. Follow their socials to find them. We also tried this cozy and rustic place called Pukot Kitchen. Definitely worth the visit. So as my friends leave for Manila, I decide to stay for a few more days and explore Mualbual, another southern destination in Cebu. So here I stayed in a dorm type room in Maayong Hostel to save up on costs. Since it's a shared space, you will spend time with strangers who could become your friends. Mualbual is a more laid-back beach community similar to La Union but with fewer people. I really love spending more time in places like this because it allows me to relax and explore the surrounding area without having to rush myself with too many activities. I even get the chance to work out that lechon belly and sometimes even reflect and write about my realizations from the trip. And finally, the activity I've really been excited about is free diving with the sardines. 
So I contacted the best guide here, Kuya Abay Abay. So make sure to contact him when you're here. And here is what happened. Doing the sardine run, seeing the turtles up close, reminded me of the beauty of our oceans and the responsibility we have to take care of it. Alright, so that's it for Cebu. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this one. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I went back home with a lot of good memories from that trip. I even contemplated living in Cebu after that. So make sure to visit Cebu. And if you have any questions, comment it down below. I'd be happy to answer your questions. And if you're new to the channel, I post mostly lifestyle, travel, and personal development content to hopefully educate and inspire Filipinos and everybody else watching. So again, thank you for spending the time and see you in the next one.